Also tonight, the William and Mary community will remember a man found dead in a burned home in Hampton last week. We're learning more from the victim's father about the twisted chain of events into his son's murder. 23-year-old Joshua Owusu Koromoa died last week in a home on Lake Tower Drive. He's the brother of Cleveland Browns linebacker Jeremiah Owusu Koromoa. Town under side's Asia Tolliver talked to the victim's father and follows up tonight. Behind me is the town home. Joshua Owusu Koromo was found dead inside exactly a week ago today. This morning, I spoke with his father, who talked about what kind of person his son was, as well as the relationship between his son and the suspect. 23-year-old Joshua Owusu Koromoa was found dead inside this town home seven days ago. Police have charged 33-year-old Ronald Scott with murder and arson in the case. Court documents say Hampton fire officials found Joshua with blood coming from around his head and broken glass around his body, and a gas can and DNA evidence, among other items, were collected from the home. A fire was found in the corner of the dining room. The incident has left Joshua's dad, Andrew Sawusu Koromoa, heartbroken. He says his son was an athlete and a scholar, but above all else, a man of God. Somebody who has no hope, he brings them hope. His words of encouragement based on the word of God. He, he told me that I want to be in the ministry. I just want to save God. Andrew says his son lived with Scott, the man police believe killed him. He says Joshua's mom and Scott's mom have a close relationship, and that's how the two were connected. However, he says he wasn't aware of their living situation until it was too late. A criminal complaint in Hampton shows Scott was a fugitive from Florida, wanted for attempting to elude police back in February. They knew that that was trouble. He was causing a lot of trouble. Andrew says his son's kindness ended up being his downfall. His legacy is to share the love of Christ. A Christian community at William & Mary is holding a memorial in Joshua's honor tonight. A Facebook post says it's happening in the large room behind the Zabel Stadium Suites. That vigil starts tonight at 8 p.m. You can find more details over on wavy.com. And we are still waiting to learn when Scott will be extradited from Florida to Hampton. And Hampton, I'm Aisha Tolliver. It's on your side. And Hampton.